I just saw an, uh, uh, a correspondence from people in Sampra. They issued out a timeline of when they've been engaging with the SABC in efforts of getting the money for artists and they, uh, for the musical rights when, they, when it's played on the stations. Mm -hmm. um, so they've been engaging in this conversation back and forth with SABC. For years now. For, from 2016. Yeah. <clears throat> and it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's reached uh, a point where basically SABC owes Sambra who owes then artists money yeah. for all the times they've been playing music. Mm. Uh, and imagine also there was that time when they said no more overseas music because they couldn't pay the overseas rights. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they, so what? Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There was there was there was no more overseas music on television. Then they said they're gonna only play local. Mm. Which, if the money had been paid to the local artists, would have been a benefit, right? Yeah. Yeah. But since 2016 and now, they issued a whole timeline um, from years to steps being taken. And the, the, the problem still rests with government at this point in time. And these are the things that have have they been ha had they been handled properly at the time, there would be these assistances going to yeah. artists and whatever. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, you know. And I hope who, like the people that are going to get the tenders and all those kind of things for this whole Corona thing. I hope they actually do the fucking job <laughs> and not child the cash for real. But, but, what, is, but is what I'm saying to you. Are they I think that's a tough ask. Are they going to appoint the correct people? Hey. That's a right? tough ask. Oh, guys, guys, you're nice, guys, Mister, because we have reach. Look, and guys, you and I can go there. Guys, and attend uh, the are they going to give their boys? But, 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 but you yeah. know, but you know, you know, you know how this thing operates. They you disappoint know. us. Who will be disappointed? My banner. You know. It is. But speaking of speaking of that, must Chaba. Yes, person. Too. Fair too. Yeah, I saw that. I, don't, uh, I, I think I was slightly on the fence about it, but I'm also just like, you know what, shout out, because at least she comes in with the knowledge of being a freelancer. Okay. So from that perspective, she can give insight and in saying, okay, Sharp, I'm at a government level now, but I once was in that space where I was having to answer to the SAPC, having leaving the SAPC because of whatever matters happened from her perspective mm -hmm. and how it affected her financially to not being able to maybe even report that to the arts and culture. Her being the spokesperson, I think maybe I was just a little taken aback because even during that time when she had her little spat with the babe situation, I was one of the people who was just like, it could have been delivered a little bit better. I'm hoping she's learned from that. And from that perspective, she can then take it forward and maybe her information can be relayed better. So I say shout out because at least there's an artist in the arts depart department. And I think everybody will probably firstly start off with a skeptical, suspect yes. yeah. emotion and feeling about it. When you go into deeper thoughts and realize that, hey man, at least we've got someone there to talk. Yeah. But for me, I would have loved her to be in an advisory position rather than a spokesperson. Okay. Okay. A spokesperson seems like... You get told to... It seems yeah. like because so much backlash comes to the Department of Arts and Culture because of when they tweet a congratulatory tweet mm. or when they haven't been doing anything. No, and when you die. Yeah, so. When you die, oh, especially condolences. also. Yeah. They get so much backlash. Mm. So I feel like now they feel like getting an artist to stand in between these artists will mediate the, the arrows getting uh. thrown to us and using her as a shield. Whereas so if you you really, we, were you really honored... Uh, so why ask you this? When, Wait, you you okay, man, fine. Come here, Joe. Yeah. Come here, son. Yeah. When you really honor the appointment or what the appointment has to do, you will then ask this person to advise you. Yeah. Okay. You understand? You're not going to ask this person to 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 talk and to end fires for you. Yes. Okay. You know what I mean? You're going to yeah. ask this person before the fires have to be ended. What? are these people crying about? Can you help us here? So an advisory would have been dope. A spokesperson, still skeptical on the department side, okay. but very much happy for Mas Chaba, a mother, and in this in industry, to get that kind of a job is a big deal. Yeah. Sure, the money's great, and it's on her to do us well. Because if she doesn't, oh, we are going to be all over you like a virus. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. Getting back to your point about Sampra and the SABC and obviously how it's affecting artists, I think that now is the time where artists are also going to try and find different ways to get their money because we can't gig, we can't make money performance-wise. Mm -hmm. um, so they also need to try and get their publishing rights. 
Because mm. I think a lot of artists don't even have that information correct. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they just say, ah, we're in the studio, Gum Nandi, release a song mm -hmm. on the internet, data file host. Okay, your song is out there, it blows. Now you can't even collect the money for the fact that it blew mm. because you don't have the publishing right. So make sure you get your information right because people like Sampra are trying to fight for you to get your money right. Guys, and, what's and the difference between Sampra and Samro? It's basically the same thing. It's, they work together. Yeah, yeah, they work together and there's rap as well. They, they but what, it's, it's a what, okay, what, what else, what does the, the acronym the stand for? Samra. South African Music, Music Rights, Rights Organization. Okay. Yes. The and they team. and they and they operate as a publisher. I think it is okay. Samro, mm. okay, yes. And then Sampra. Mm. So we need to. We need music. to. No, not as a Okay, it's just. Yeah, I was it's, just wanting to know what the abbreviation stands for. I, I, think, I think we'll do that for the next topic. Right. Yes, but, but, but do I also properly and if you don't you know, know um, in terms of like if you don't know what uh, publishing those kind of things are, if you go to the Samro uh, website, it's got everything there. Yeah, they literally like I myself sometimes when I'm not sure about something, I go there. You download. Whatever. Yeah. And how they're also trying to get that right with the conversation of about um, fetching the SABCs <coughs> to try and get their money. They've yeah. gotten to a point where we now, I've been at the SABC for almost, what, seven years now? And it's only this year where I've been initiated to basically say, when you submit a mix, if I get a mix from some random DJ in Durban, he has to give, me, he has to yeah. give me a form with the artist. The song Publishing. title and the uh, and the code. They even want the producers. They, name. they want the producers name. Mm, yeah, they want yeah. the publishers because they're trying to correct their audit now. Yeah. It's getting to a point where they say, okay, us as the SABC, let's also fix our documentation yeah. so that if we do have to pay this thing out, we're paying out the right amount yeah. of money. They are. They are. So, so they try. Of yeah, they they working towards yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So they don't see this thing coming, right? Really. I, I mean, you know, you can only fix once the damage is done. At the end of the day, it's a it's a step but in the right direction. Sampra, because you can see they do act they're acting like a good collective services. They're yeah. collecting and they made it public so knowledge. I, I, I respect the public knowledge part, right? Part of right? Yeah. So now this is a time where as artists we need to go cry out to with Woolies when people didn't talk speak out about Woolies, right? Yeah. This is where Logo Pulu it's, it's it's actually Lugu. sad that you know, um, I mean? uh, you know the legendary Christos. The DJ, mm -hmm. yeah. he was about to have a conference and they were like promoting it on social media and uh, he was doing it in conjunction with Sampra. Yeah. yeah. So I kept seeing like the marketing yeah. uh, promotions or whatever. And it was actually really, really interesting. I was actually thinking you of going, going there myself yeah. To, yeah. to learn a few things. So it's sad that it's, it's, it's actually... Hey, possible. everyone's getting affected. The biggest events yeah. of the world are getting affected. I wanted to attend South by Southwest. That was cancelled yeah. for the first My time. Event has to for, move. For, for the first time in 34 years. Imagine a sure. big event like that. Coachella's been moved to October. Back to the City's been moved to October. Um, 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 it's, it's, he had to cancel his event, which I was I'm, really I'm also cancelling my event. I was going to do mine in I, April. I heard, I heard the Blum, so, what's the Blum one? Makufe. Makufe is cancelled, right? All yeah. these things have been moved. And the tricky Devin part... July? Devin July is also on the fence. They cancelled the, the comrades already. The comrades. A friend of mine was training for Iron Man. Yeah, That's been cancelled. Uh, yeah. Can you imagine? You're swimming every day. You're cycling. I, you're running. <laughs> I, I was supposed to be in oh, Sun City. Oh, I was supposed to be in Sun City as we speak this weekend. There was a, a African a, a skate championship. Yes, I remember contest. you tweeted about it. I was supposed to be chilling oh. at Sun City as we speak. So all that's been cancelled and it's scary for the event organizers because someone, a, a big organization like South by Southwest was in big shit because they cancelled but they didn't have event insurance. So now they're sitting back like, after all these years, they might have to close completely. They don't have event insurance. Dude, after so now, 34 this is where, years, I was now, like, this is now where, they need to pay out all the cancellation fees yeah. and they don't have money. That's, I'm saying, this what? is where we start to get knowledge, right? Just yeah. to say, okay, this is what happens behind the scenes mm. and we don't know that so this basically, is insurance. With, with event insurance, and it's, it's possible even in South Africa, where if some for some reason your event can't happen, you've got insurance to be able to pay out all your or supplies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So or for instance, if it starts raining or it's hailing or yeah. whatever, then yeah. you can cancel and say, I okay, it's off now. So we need to be able to and pay public everybody. Public liability as well. But right? that's why some events continue even in the rain because they're just like, yeah. But and we ain't got pay. it. But public liability, your event won't even open. Yeah. If you don't have, if you don't have, have any public liability, okay, okay, they won't okay. even open the gates. Yeah. So I hope you guys really do well in there. Uh, reach inside yourselves. Find the answers. You've got the answers. Stay safe, stay healthy, and this too shall pass.